I will be using the same colour so I'm going to slip stitch across and now we're up to round 11. What we want to do is shell in the next space and then we're going to increase into the next. Now we're going to work a shell into the next six spaces. That's one. Two. Three. Six, and then we're going to increase in the next. one two three four five six and increase in the next we're going to repeat this around and I'll meet you and we're ready to do the next round so this is round 12 I finished off my color and I'm joining into the next one slip stitch across if you're not if you're not changing so we're going to work our beginning shell as normal This one says shell in the next five spaces. So that's one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is an increase. In the next five, one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase. Then it says shell in the next seven. Six and seven. So it increases there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then increase into the next. 
we're going to repeat this all the way around doing one show in the next seven and increase into the next repeat this around pause the video and I'll meet you when we're ready for the next round now I've just finished round 12 and that brings me back to the original color that I started with and what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to roughly plan it out. You can see here I've done one of the yellow, so I'm going to do two of the yellow up here. Here I've done two rows of orange, or two rounds of orange I should say, so I'm only going to do one round of orange up here. Then we've got one round of red, so I'm going to do two up the top on the next part. Got two pinks, so I'll do one when I come to that next, two purple, so I'll do the one when I come to that next. I've got one blue, so I'll do two when I come to that next. And then green I've got two, and I'll do one when I come to that one next, and so on. So that's a guide that I'm going to use. I may not stick to it all the time, but that's just the guide. And this is what I used, my rainbow shawl, if anyone's seen that one or made that one. That is pretty much what I did with that. I just went the opposite to what I did so I've got one yellow, I did two when I come to it next time. Now, we've just finished round 12, and round 13, I'm going to stick with the yellow. And 13 and 14 are exactly the same, and it is repeat round 7. And if you remember what round 7 was, it's our shell in every stitch. Just grabbing some yarn. So for the next two rounds, so this one and the next, we're just going to do a shell in every stitch. Now if you find that on your, not this round, but the round after, if you find that's really curling up at the edges, you might want to take out that second round of row seven. So you find it's like that, and curling up, and it's not laying flat. You may only want to do one repeat of round seven. At the moment, this does lay flat. I have put it on the ground just to make sure. So I will be doing two rounds of round seven, which is a shell in each, what we just did there, and that will lay flat for me because I've already made this pattern before, so I know that it works. If you're using um, chunky yarn or a thicker than worsted weight yarn, you may have it curling up. So I will meet you in the next video clip when we have done two rounds of round seven. So I have 14 rounds done and you want to make sure it's laying flat. Like I said, if it's not laying flat, you may need to take out one of the repeats of row seven. So keeping with my plan, we had two orange there, and I've only done one orange there. So remember, you, I, you don't have to do the same thing, but I am just doing the opposite of what I did on the colour before. So I've got two rounds there, I'm only doing one there. So next is my red. So I've got one red round, and I'll be doing two for this one. So joining our colour in the next space from the join, which is there. So we're going to join it here. This is round 15. And it says shell in the next four spaces. So we're going to do our chain three. Do our shell. We want to do it in the next four spaces. So that's one. Three and four, and then increase into the next. So, going into the next one, we're going to work out increase. So 
so we've got one two three four increase and then we're going to start our repeat so it says shell in the next eight spaces Let's make double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then increase in the next. And this is our repeat for this round. So it's eight shells and then an increase. So repeat that around. And I will meet up with you when we are ready to do the next round. So I'm continuing on with the red. So I've slip stitched across. Again, join your colour into this space. There's my join. Join your new colour in there if you're changing. And now we want to shell in the next nine spaces and increase in the next. And this is the repeat for this round. And as we go around, we have... Um, a lot more stitches to do so this is when we can use our stitch markers if we want to and what I do is I just count out and put a stitch marker where I need to increase and this helps me to remember to do it because most of the time I'm watching TV or YouTube So I need to be reminded. Otherwise I just shell in every space around when I'm not supposed to be. Can't get that crochet hook in the right spot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then an increase. So we're going to repeat this around and I'll meet you when we're ready for the next round. So we just finished round 16 and 17 and 18 are uh, we'll repeat round 7. But I've got some interesting information here. Sherry that tested my pattern. Um, first of all you want to place your rug on a flat surface and make sure it's lying flat and you can smooth it out with your hands. So go like that and like massage it out and make sure it's laying flat. And it says, when Sherry O was testing the pattern with chunky yarn, this is US chunky yarn, at this stage of the pattern her rug started to curl up at the edges. And what we did to fix that, if this happens anywhere in the pattern when you're following along, go straight to the next increase round, and that's any round that isn't a repeat of row 7. So this is a non-increase round where it says repeat row 7. But the ones where it's got lots and lots of words, <laughs> that's an increase round. So we've just completed row 16 and we're going to do 17 and 18. So it's a repeat row 7, so that's a shell in each. But remember, if it's not laying flat, and I highly, highly recommend putting on a flat surface. Because if you get so many rounds in, which is what myself and Sherry have both done, you go to lay it down and it's starting to curl right up and you can't fix it once it's starting to curl right up you have to pull it out so I yeah like I say even after every round 
I would suggest putting it on a flat surface and I know that's a lot of putting on flat surfaces but if you get to a point where it's curling up you're really going to regret it if you haven't so we're going to repeat round seven and that is a shell in every space so we're just going to shell all the way around and we want to repeat this twice so when I come back in the next video clip it will be round 19 so pause the video and I'll meet you when we're there all right so if you laid it on the ground to make sure it's flat you can see over this side there's a bit of a shadow under there but that is so that's actually sticking up but if we go down to it I can actually smooth it out so what I mean by smoothing it out is put your hand on it and smooth out the edges So you're just smoothing it and it will actually sit flat. Oh, my feet. <laughs> you will actually sit flat. And you can tell this is a crochet. It's carpet right next to my videos. Because look, ends need to be vacuumed up. So as long as it's sitting flat, you are fine. If it's not, then you may need to take one of those round sevens out. So that was the shell in every stitch. So we're on to the next part of our rug this is looking so awesome loving these rainbows round 19 i've finished off and i've actually cut that a bit short but hopefully that will be okay should be able to sew that in and we're going to join into the next next space or you're going to slip stitch across and round 19 is a increase round we're going to do our beginning shell and it says shell in the next eight spaces so that's one two three four five six Seven and eight. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's increase in the next. increase then we're going to shell into the next 10 spaces Okay, so we've got an increase here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. An increase into the next one. And this is the repeat for this round. It's ten shells and then an increase. So repeat this around and I will meet you. 
pause the video and I'll meet you when we're ready for the next round. So this is what mine's looking like so far and you'll notice on this round that it on the last round that we did which was round eight, uh, 19 sorry that it's losing its round shape a little bit it's getting points on the corners but that is fine it does even out when we add our repeat sevens our repeat round seven will even out the pointiness so I'm loving how this is looking I hope you're enjoying this pattern and let's get started on the next round so now we're up to round 20 and round 20 says shell in the next two spaces and increase in the next so I've already done my two and then we need to increase in the next So that's our two and then our increase. And then it says shell into the next 11 and then increase in the next. So here was an increase, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and now this one is our increase. And that is a repeat for this round, it's shell into the next 11 spaces and increase into the next one. The round after this is another repeat round seven and from now on I won't be showing you exactly what to do for round seven because we already already know that it is a shell in every space around. So finish off this round, your next one is a repeat seven and I'll meet back with you and we're up to round 22. So pause the video and I'll be back in just a moment. So you can see here it's starting to curl and sorry about the angle, you're on the floor of my, my um, computer room. But if I flatten it out, it will actually stay flat. It will start to curl just ever so slightly, but that's okay because our next round is an increase round and that will make it lay flat. 